So Nintendo is reportedly not doing a Nintendo Direct anytime soon. And you know what? I'm not worried. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and today we're going to be diving into this Venture B article, which is basically reporting that Nintendo isn't planning any Direct anytime soon, and that Twitter announcements should be what we are expecting most likely for news on Nintendo games moving forward throughout the year with everything going on with Kovac, with E3 not going on, with them not being part of Summer Game Fest, nor they have not been conformed for the IGN and the GameStop show that they are currently doing as in a replacement for E3 this year as well. Nintendo hasn't shown up with anybody, hasn't aligned their stars or their rocks or with anything with anybody. What they have been doing is on Twitter dropping new information for games we know about, some new, some old, like Paper Mario and the Origami King. We've seen that trailer just pop up. We also seen the trailer and announcement and the release of Elder Scrolls Blades on the Nintendo Switch just pop up out of nowhere. On the same date, note that the Paper Mario trailer dropped with the brand new SNES and Super Nintendo classic games that dropped. It got an update as well, leading a lot of people to believe that maybe there was a bigger direct planned on that date. And this is what we got that still pushed through, that still got released on that day, but no direct, which wouldn't be too surprising. Again, with everything going on in the world right now and Nintendo and pretty much working from home, they don't have, I don't think anyway, that they're even thinking about trying to get together to do a direct. I think they know that if the trailer is done or if they have a trailer of some sort of package information that they can just drop it on Twitter and it will leave almost the same impact as a Nintendo Direct. And in this way, when they do drop the information of the game, that single game that day will get ton of love and basically be the topic of the day. Where so if a Nintendo Direct happened and you know, Paper Mario information dropped, we don't really care if, you know, basically a brand new Excite Bike game got announced as well. We're gonna be looking at Paper Mario that's gonna steal the show. So I think this does help games that may be not as newsworthy standing next to a Mario game if we did get a Super Mario Direct and it also had a little bit of other stuff sprinkled in it as well. Hell, I've seen a lot of people talk about the Super Nintendo and the NES game that dropped and to me, usually when that happens, nobody talks about it. People get mad and upset that they're updating that app and it's not adding Donkey Kong Country or not adding the game that they want. But when they did it on a day that we didn't get no other news, everybody was talking about it. Everybody was talking about these games that got added. And I think one of the main reasons that they were talking about it is due to the fact that there were no direct that day. There was no bigger news from Nintendo of a game that got released. Now me, I'm perfectly fine with this Twitter Direct as a lot of people like to call it, where they just drop a trailer or give us a ton of information with some screenshots. I think it's perfect. They do that when we get Directs anyway. So people who don't wanna watch that Direct video experience have something substantial to go back to on Twitter and it's a great way to get more information about a game because they would just start a whole thread on a game and just keep going in and adding stuff. Nintendo has always been good to its third party developers that are on the console. They always share trailers on a Twitter, on the YouTube, they repost trailers and stuff like that with their branding and logos all over their trailers that make it look like the game is part of that system, a part of that Nintendo library, especially if the game is polished and does look like it's part of Nintendo franchise of lineups or something that could stand next to a Mario or, you know, Zelda as title, they're basically also telling developers and partners to not wait for a direct even if they have big announcements. So basically anything that a third party developer would save for Nintendo for that big push for an announcement, they're basically left to do that on themselves and Nintendo is probably like, yo, 
don't worry you share your trailer we follow up we got you we're gonna support you just not with a direct style announcement because they are not doing one until who knows when again just to wrap it up i do think nintendo is fine just dropping trailers and basically talking about the games individually as they line up and as they are getting more close and ready to release as with the piper mario origami king we know it's a like two months away and it's a great way to just like here is a game that's next that you should know about and again that you should get ready for here let's start the hype train for this and let's keep everything else that we would drop in a normal style june direct in the stash until it's ready and just again probably drop that trailer because we do know there's tons of rumors about other stuff coming like the mario remasters the super mario 3d world deluxe and pignum 3 whoever's waiting for that that those are still coming most likely down the pipeline this year but nintendo could just be holding it again until either we get a full direct or until you know tuesday morning they surprise us with another fucking trailer either way let me know which side of the coin do you fall on this do you wish nintendo just said fuck it and did a direct even during this hellish of a time period of with everything going on in the world or do you you know feel like me and think that these twitter release style videos are okay what i hope is that nintendo doesn't see that these videos on twitter and on youtube doing great and just think of that as a replacement for the rex in the future when every when the world go back to normal and just thinks hey because they did well while Kovic was going on with these Twitter style announcements, we don't need to go back to the Rex, that it's a waste of money. I hope they don't fall into that camp, but I do support the fact that they are releasing information via Twitter with a trailer that is just hype on a morning, like boom, surprise. I wake up every day now, I'm just like, are we gonna get something from Nintendo? Are we gonna get something from Nintendo? As you guys know, I'm a Pokemon fan, so I'm like, Pokemon DLC, where are you? What's going on? <laughs> Just waiting for any type of news. But again, let me know your thoughts on everything that's going on in the comment section below. I'm talking a ton. As you guys know, this is a conversation. I want to hear from you guys in the comments. I answer all comments. So again, let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day. If you found this video enjoyable, also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton. As far as moving the video over and to recommend it so other people can check out the video. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next video thank you thank you thank you for making it to the end of this video if you're not a subscriber and you made it this far hit that subscribe button you know you want to join the family ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time i drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one